Now, one of the things I'd like you to know is that in the world of mathematics, we like certainty. We like when we just like certainty. So let's let's talk about the the um, a relationship that yields a level of certainty. When we can see that there's certainty in a relationship, we're going to call that a function. And you've heard that 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 term used before, but I'm going to tell you we're going to call this a function. Now, let's be clear: all relationships don't have certainty built in. So if certainty cannot be established, then we're going to conclude that the relationship is not. A function. So let's look at the code that Dr. Joe Bowler gave you. A one mapped to the letter A, a two mapped to the letter B, and so on. There was certainty in Bowler's coding. In the code that I gave you, the number two could be mapped to either an A, B, or C. So if I just said I use the number two to write a letter, I can't be certain exactly what letter I wrote. I could have written an A, I could have written a B, I could have written a C. So Bowler's coding represents certainty. My coding that I used, there was no certainty. Let's take another example here. Here's a Coke machine. We've all seen Coke machines like this. Uh, button one and button two are gonna give me a Coke. Uh, button three, is going to give me a Coke Zero, button four is going to give me a Diet Coke, and button five is going to give me a Sprite. Is there certainty here? When I hit a button, do I know exactly what soft drink I'm going to get? As long as the machine is working properly, the answer is yes. If I hit button one, I get a Coke. If I hit button two, I get a Coke, and so on and so forth. All right. How about this type of vending machine here? Let me move my picture up here. Here's a vending machine that has all just the same snack in it. All right, so again, the same rules apply. When I hit button one, do I know exactly what I'm gonna get? I do. And same with button two, same with button three, same with button four. But now let's reverse this process, okay? So here we have certainty, 100%. We know what button one is gonna give me. As I map, let's be clear here, I'm mapping from left to right. All right, both of these examples map from left to right. Well, let's take that same example with the Coke. And now let's say that I'm walking away with a Coke, right? You see me leaving the vending machine with a Coke. Do you know what button I pushed to get that Coke? Do you know specifically what button I pushed to get that Coke? The answer is no. I could have pushed button one or I could have pushed button two. There's no certainty there, all right? So as I map this relationship from left to right, no certainty because a Coke could be mapped to button one or a Coke could be mapped to button two. In this example with the almonds, same thing. I'm walking away from the vending machine. I got, I got a set of almonds in my hand. Okay, well, do I know for sure what button was pushed to get those almonds? No, I don't. I could have pushed button one, two, three, four, five. I can't be certain. So you can see that some relationships, depending on how they're worded, and how they're designed, some give us certainty, but in this case, we have uncertainty. And when we have certainty, we call that a function. Now, math ma mathematicians, which we all are because we're problem solvers by nature, we love certainty. So when I ask a question, how old are you? There's one answer. When I ask a question, what grade are you in? One answer, certainty. What did you eat for lunch? Certainty. What time did you wake up today? Certainty. All right, so when we have this, these, these relationships that show certainty, we call these functions. And I want you to write that down somewhere. Functions imply certainty. And certainty implies a function. If I have this particular question, if y equals two x plus one, what is the value of y when x has a value of five? Well, I can find that very easily. y equals two times five plus one, which is equal to 11. Am I certain that the answer is 11? The answer is yes. I am completely and 100% certain that the answer is 11.